hello guys good afternoon welcome back to my channel my name is olivia if you just see me for the first time thank you welcome i'm a nigerian migrant who lives here in south africa with my family and i make various contents yes i'm sure you would like it on this channel please do well to hit on the subscribe button please help me subscribe and don't watch without subscribing subscribe like this video okay just give it a thumbs up share let someone that knows someone that knows someone hear it okay and yes thank you so much for stopping by and to all my returning subscribers of course i don't take it for granted thank you so much i really appreciate you okay so yeah without further ado let's jump right into the video so guys today i was just browsing the net again as usual guys you guys know that net is the new information thing you will get the good the bad the ugly but of course there are some reputable sites that you know that will relatively carry at least relatively true news okay so i saw that the late pastor tb joshua's youtube channel has been deleted so i saw this on bbc africa it says tb joshua exposed like that's a you know hyphen youtube deletes emmanuel tv channel disgraced mega church leader oh my god like they're talking about the fact that youtube has deleted emmanuel channel tv okay let's just search emmanuel emmanuel channel tv let's see if it's true so for real it's been deleted yes you can see emmanuel channel tv it's been deleted um youtube is not our platform youtube is owned by youtube is owned by google okay youtube doesn't just delete people's channel that's one thing i can tell you for free i'm a youtube creator i know that youtube has rules and regulations and before they delete a channel they have a way they go about it correct me if i'm wrong they give you a strike a warning a strike a warning then probably they delete okay so excuse me so that is one however i want to talk about this whole saga what my thoughts are on this whole tb joshua and um and the whole saga okay w disclaimer i am not the one to talk about men of god it's not it's not just my niche i don't like talking about it i am a church girl uh, i was born and raised in church and i don't fancy talking badly about like every little thing some people is their niche every little thing they talk about people of god and men of god okay so in this video i'm going to title it south africans love tv joshua more than nigerians okay yeah. that'll be the title of this video so like i said i don't like talking about but however i'm not also of the opinion that <laughs> touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm i'm not in that whatsapp group yes I'm not in that whatsapp group at all being that this is a new era okay <laughs> it's not everybody that calls the name of the lord actually knows god that's one i can tell you for free it's not everybody a lot of people use church as business but is it a lot of people is it everybody no are there people that were called by god of course yes there are people by, that were called by god okay are there also people that were called by god then they deviated along the line of course some people deviated along the line so you all know the the story if you don't know let me just give a quick recap of course mm, pastor tb joshua late was a renowned pastor a nigerian pastor who was known worldwide and um a lot of sagas a lot of you know controversies used to come out every now and then i remember a few years back when the church building collapsed and a lot of foreigners died especially a lot of south africans died i really felt bad though then i felt so bad and so yeah a lot of such controversies used to really come up then but the major one hit when this documentary came up i think last month when <laughs> the documentary was a hit a lot of things happened people showed tutorial evidences video evidences the people that said they were the disciples of the late prophets or late pastor they said a lot of things a lot of unspeakable things you can go and watch those videos on youtube channel of the bbc africa okay a lot of things were said and um we advised that okay a lot of foreigners were there south africans i think other african countries foreigners were there nigerians were there white people americans and europeans were there okay yeah so they are we are all disciples they said a lot of things against the pastor the late pastor now that that pastor is actually dead but um one one thing i do not subscribe to is people saying that oh if somebody died 
why talk about it it's not true when, when it comes to the truth or when it comes to you know such things have those kind of things it can be talked about anytime that somebody died does not mean that their legacy has died or what their work on earth both good and bad has died if if somebody did a good thing in this world you can still talk about it even when they are no more if somebody did a bad thing also you can still talk about it even when they are no more so the first disclaimer i want to make is that i don't know if those testimonies we are actually entirely true although there we have some videos to show that there were those ladies actually worked there that's one you that's one there's no way is a lie okay and there's no way is a lie they were actually working there so are all the testimonies true i don't know sorry are all the testimonies true i don't know are they all false <laughs> i don't think they were all false however it is not in my place to judge but what i want to say is that one i don't know what transpired in that place those ladies a lot of them looked traumatized in that testimony and um could it all be lie i don't think they were all lies in all honesty this is me saying my what i think my 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 opinion may, may be wrong of course you can say your opinion on the comment section i don't think those those what's it called disciples that worked with pastor tb joshua we are all lying i don't think all the testimonies were like were they entirely true i don't know i don't i don't know if they were all truth okay it's only them and god that know but one thing i can tell you that the videos we are not doctored because if you watch those vi some of those videos because i watched those vi um documentary three three hours each those some of those videos you will see those disciples they were way younger then even the pictures they were very young and you know it, when you see them talking making their own confession yes so there were videos and there were pictures the pictures don't lie and that they were disciples no doubt the videos didn't look like they lied so one thing i can tell you for free in this world then eh? there's no smoke without fire my Igbo people will say Ebe watana toaka, ibagwa. Ne ano, yan, ne ano. that's if a, a child is crying and pointing at somewhere they are, the mom may be there or the father may be there that means there must be something that's fishing something fishy going down that's one thing i can tell you for free again i want to also say that there are a lot of fake pastors i mean in nigeria <laughs> fake pastors full everywhere there are lots everywhere in the world there are a lot of people that call god 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 but god does not know them god does not know them they've deviated or even they are even working with the power of demons or something i'm not saying this is the case of pastor tb Joshua, but i'm just stating the general fact so a lot of people are so-called pastors are men of god but they, they are not genuine some of them are money driven some of them are driven by other things that's are the facts i'm putting out there so the point is that a lot of africa a lot of people on the comment section really are not being objective i don't know for me this is how i would think i would look at this whole thing as much as i don't say i won't say oh yeah it happened it happened most it must have happened i will look at a, a, a situation critically and logically like look at this situation of youtube now for youtube to delete the channel you can't say youtube is victimizing you, emmanuel tv is not the only station there are billions of stations on youtube there are billions of creators they can't just delete without evidence okay so when something happens don't say oh they are trying to victimize african pastors no a lot of people have the opinion that oh bbc they are white people why are they uh, sharing our news why are they showing africa at, in a bad light it's not true it's not true be logical be realistic about a situation look at it critically critically analyze and say ha god i don't you can say oh i don't know if it happens or but if it happens you know it's between them and god so don't say oh it's a lie a lot of people say is the lie that pastor Stevie joshua can do no harm i can't say that because i'm not him he's not me I'm, and i'm not god only god knows the truth but i just want to say that those ladies seemed genuine that's what i think i'll tell you for free when somebody is saying the truth explaining an ordeal it has a sequence where they all crammed i don't know but they seemed truthful they seemed as as though they know what they were talking about they seemed like like they were really traumatized from those events and if it's really happened oh my god the trauma must have been something else but i just want say that i just want to say if it really happened let god heal them let god help them I really empathize for them. 
i know that south africans for for one and south africans love pastor tv joshua so much you know when i first came to south africa even when i'm i, I was like say a year two years three years those early days when i say oh i'm in nigeria they would say oh yes i want to go to nigeria you know why they would say yes i want to go to pastor tv joshua's church it was like an everyday occurrence i'll be like ah you know i didn't used to really hear about yeah i used to watch emmanuel tv then once in a while on the tv stations in nigeria but when i came here was you will see a lot of people love pastor tb joshua in south africa some might even say oh i've been to nigeria i went to pastor tb joshua's church you understand so a lot of africans nigerians especially south africans loved pastor tb joshua so it will really be a sad thing if those things happen and and power adventure it happened i just want to you know give my sincere condolence to those ladies that if it happened my sincere apologies and condolence and um, i empathize with them i feel for them and i pray they get help and i pray they you know get over all the trauma in case it happened okay but if it didn't happen well it's still between them and god if they you know ganged up like a lot some people say and frame the pastor and frame the man of god and god will still judge them because the bible said that the earth and the fullness thereof is of the lord god judges i am not going to come out and um and say oh pastor did it or pastor did not do it but if pastor did it well wherever he is i don't know if he has gotten the judgment or or if if not but if but i can't say i can't come out and hit my chest i, I can't be that say oh it did not happen was i there i wasn't there but <laughs> i wasn't there so i'm not going to say that so that's my take on the whole thing and, and another thing i want to say that africans are very gullible you know africa in africa we are poor yes africa is the poorest continent in the world so we are poor so with poverty comes being gullible and being vulnerable so a lot of pastors both nigeria especially nigerian pastors but even both nigerian pastors and pastors in every part of africa they kind of um take advantage of people's vulnerability and people's poverty and people's you know situation so it's really bad so what i want to say pray you know god for yourself as much as i will not say tomorrow don't go to church or or don't i go to church i believe in god i believe in 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 some pastors i i like some pastors i believe in some pastors i pray i i believe in god i will not stop believing in god's servant but i will not say oh i will not just be gullible and close my mind and thinking that oh everybody <laughs> i was saying to myself when i watched that video this cannot be me <laughs> this can just not be me and this cannot be my parents honestly just giving your child out like that in church because because one man of god says he's a man of god and let your child be in church that cannot be me so be wise for yourself even as you're training children train your children to be wise train your children to ask questions train your children not to believe everything anybody said yeah that's my take on that incident god will judge everything whatever a man sows or a woman a human being he will reap so africans are gullible so could it have happened it's possible it has it happened is it possible it didn't happen yeah it's also possible god knows but yeah the way africans run after churches pastors hey hey it's sometimes it's very sad so let's know god for ourselves um this is not me bashing tb joshua's emmanuel ministry and um and any man of god out there will never do that no nah. but i don't believe in any anything goes so long as any past uh, because somebody is a pastor it's not questionable no i'm not of that um school of thoughts i'm not there and i will never be there yeah so that's my thought on it guys what do you think and i also want to say my sincere condolences to you know the incident that happened during that when pastor joshua was still alive that the building collapsed and a lot of people a lot of south africans died uh, my sincere condolences i pray god heals those family i really felt bad when that incident happened and yeah my condolence to everybody that is going through one thing or the other or that has been through any kind of such ordeal in the hands of anybody you any or any figure of authority because a lot of people have been through a lot of in such things in the hands of an authority figure in their lives be it you know relatives friends bosses pastors and all that so may god heal you all share your thoughts what do you think of the comment section do you believe it happened do you believe pastor tv joshua was uh, capable of that and what are your thoughts and um yeah thank you so much give this video a thumbs up share comment and i'll see you in my next one my name is olivia bye